back, how about we get a full check of weather with our weather authority chief meteorologist, Dan Sianka. Hey there, Dan. That sounds like a good idea, Austin. Great idea, Let's indeed. get the fullest check you can possibly imagine. We'll start with a webcam time lapse today. I want to show you this is in San Benito County of some of the cumulus clouds that we had today. A few of these did actually make some raindrops. At least on radar, there were no ground truth reports of precipitation today, but it's not hard to imagine a few raindrops falling out of some of those thicker clouds out there. This is the Mount Helen cam. This is about central San Benito County, looking to the south, southeast, off into the Diablo range across the San Andreas rift zone in the foreground there. Beautiful country out there. Today's highs were warm, and on top of that, keep in mind, our air was kind of muggy today, so it might have felt a little warmer than it really was because of the humidity out there. 94 today in Bradley, Hollister close to 90 degrees today. Santa Cruz, after a cooler day yesterday, you were back to 80, and most areas around the bay were in the mid to upper 70s, so it was a nice and warm one out there. The question is, will we see any more showers over the hills tomorrow, and what will your weather be like? Well, let's start by taking a look at the pattern. We do have a big ridge still over the nation's midsection, causing havoc with hot temperatures in places like Oklahoma and Kansas, up into portions of Iowa. It is scorching hot Nebraska Illinois all dealing with the heat in between we've got some monsoonal moisture also some tropical moisture by the way these clouds coming up into North Texas and into the panhandle there that's from a new tropical cyclone that developed overnight last night into this morning made landfall this morning near uh, south of Corpus Christi Texas that was a tropical storm named Harold and that moisture is being pulled into the upper level flow as well. Back here to the west coast, we do have a triangle of dry air coming in. The remnant moisture, but not the actual remnants of Hillary right here. And a trough of low pressure on the coast. That trough of low pressure, you can kind of see it here. And the ridge will be playing war games together basically for the rest of the week. We're going to be caught in the middle of that. Troughing will continue on the west coast, but the ridge kind of builds back tomorrow. And I think we're going to be warmer tomorrow. Most locations running three to eight degrees warmer tomorrow. And today was a pretty warm and muggy day. We'll dry out a touch tomorrow, but it still may feel pretty humid tomorrow. We'll start to cool down a little bit the next couple days after that because of the trough strengthening a little bit. Plus the remnants of Harold may also help kind of lower pressure across central California as well, portions of California. So ultimately we're gonna cool down a little bit with the deeper marine layer. We'll see increasing low clouds on the coast, maybe a little drizzle as well. But then the ridge is gonna to start to fight back as we head through the weekend. We can see that here moving into Southern California and just kind of pushing on these lines just a little bit to warm us up as we head through and out of the weekend. So we're gonna warm up tomorrow, cool down for a couple of days and then warm back up for several more days after that. That is what the roller coaster looks like. As you step into the amusement park, you say, okay, we're gonna go up and then drop, and then it kind of goes up again and kind of a long steady up. And then after that, who knows? You can't see it. You're not in that part. You're in the line for the churro. So you can't see the end of the roller coaster. You're just gonna have to tune in tomorrow for the roller coaster part two, or maybe later in the week. In the meantime, future cast overnight showing mostly clear skies. We may see just a skiff of low clouds around the peninsula overnight, but otherwise expected to stay mostly clear. During the day tomorrow, a couple of puffy clouds over the hills. They'll be flatter than today, and I don't expect any of them to make any rain tomorrow, so it should be completely dry across the central coast. Tomorrow evening, we may see a few low clouds return as well late, but ultimately a pretty sunny day. In fact, as I mentioned, temperatures running three to eight degrees warmer. So get ready for some heat tomorrow. Where are we headed? Let's take a look. Ooh, Santa Cruz Mountains getting toasty. The Nine Corridor, 97 in Boulder Creek tomorrow, 94 in Scotts Valley. You're going to be feeling the heat in Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys, even up at the summit, 90 tomorrow. Downtown Santa Cruz, 82. If you head to the north side of town, you might get close to 90 degrees. On the beaches, upper 70s, looking pretty nice. Capitola on the beach, 79. Even Davenport, Whale City out there, 73 degrees. On the east shore of the bay, look at these temperatures. Mid-70s, Watsonville into the 80s, Salinas, Prunedale in the 80s, 90s in Hollister, Gilroy. Ooh, we're almost cooking the garlic. 98 degrees, you can smell it. It might smell a little bit hotter, hot garlic, is that a thing? Monterey Peninsula, all 70s tomorrow. Look at these temperatures, 78 Monterey, about 10 degrees above normal, and then down south. I did up these temperatures from my early show, so if you watched earlier and you're saying, man, these temps look a little bit warmer. Yes, yeah, so we're trending warmer for tomorrow. 100 in Bradley tomorrow, King City 94. It's going to be a hot day of work in the Salinas Valley. If you're going to be out in the fields, make sure to take those breaks, please. Uh, Carmel Valley, also upper 80s tomorrow. So let's look at that seven-day forecast on the coast. We're going to drop 
Thursday and Friday. Increasing low clouds, drizzle possible overnight Thursday into Friday morning. After that, slow warm up, nice conditions this weekend. Northwest winds kick in a little bit too. Um, they may be a little gusty Sunday and Monday. So we're watching that for you. Inland areas, uh, also a big drop in temperatures, about eight degrees by Thursday. And we'll kind of hover there on Friday before warming back up with lots of sunshine. No rain in the forecast, only precip expected again, maybe a little drizzle on the coast Thursday into Friday. Austin. Great.